All right, guys. So today I'm gonna be doing a New Year's Eve vlog, a little dramatic type of thing. And right now, I already did my face stuff, like moisturizer, primer, all of that. So we're gonna go in with the brows. Let me zoom in a little. Getting a little close and personal here. Zoom in. So there we are. All right. So I always go in with the brow whisk. And I am using the shade medium brown. Just flicking upwards. I don't like a dramatic eyebrow because my brows are already thick enough. So lightly strokes and There we go. I never go in super hard because obviously I don't want fine lines on there. Mm -hmm. There we go. Could tell some difference. I never actually go in here so much because I want my eyebrows to look as natural as possible. Not that I have anything with dramatic brows, I just don't like that on me. One of my eyebrows is way thicker and obviously it had to be this one. Okay, so next we're gonna clean up the brows. And not this one. This one. I'm going in with the shape tape in the color light neutral and a morphe m224 brush for concealing just tap some on the back of my hand there we go just like this i think i use not a lot um, a little product goes a long way, honestly. So once again, I always start at the same place where I started filling in my brows. So how was everyone's Christmas? Did you guys give a lot of gifts or get a lot? Honestly, Christmas is a beautiful time of the year. It's very sad. I know a lot of people don't celebrate either, but <clears throat> it's always family time. It's nice to be around everybody. 
Alright, so now I'm gonna just diffuse this and blend it out with a Morphe M504 brush, really fluffy. With leftover products from the brush, <clears throat> I'm just going to go on top and clean that up as well. And now we're going to go with the clear brow gel from ABH just to set that. There we go, beautiful. And I see some little spots there that still might need some brown on. Voila, so this is without any concealer or anything, and there we go, everything on there to browse. Okay, so I went ahead and cleaned up my other eye, brow, <laughs> and now we're going to move on to the eye part. So going in with the same concealer that I used to clean up my brows, the Shape Tape, I'm actually going to use this as an eye primer. I don't really use eye primers. Just concealer. Oh, that's kind of fuck. I did a lot. <laughs> okay. So, now we're going to blend this out. And I'm using a Re Real Techniques brush little thing got this at well so you can find them like at any local drugstore or Ulta or Target So who's ready for the new year, man? Because I know I am I'm so done with 2018. With another Real Techniques brush. This is from the ColourPop collection from I Love Sai. Go in and set that. <clears throat> I tried the not setting thing and somehow it didn't work out for me like my lids were kind of oily at some point during the day so it just kind of creases right here so yeah I didn't try that out all right and now gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and one of my favorite colors to use I love oranges this one right here it's called creamsicle so I'm gonna go in with that with the more 
Morphe M504. Have all victims. Just start from the edge and work our way. So who's ready for the new year, guys? I mean, 2019. Well, I'm at 2020. Who remembers when it was still like 2000? You're like, oh my god, in 2020, there's probably gonna be cars flying. <laughs> Yeah, not happening. I mean, at least we have electric cars like Teslas and shit and every other car, you know, so. And there we go. And bring it out. I think I'm going to do a wing. I might. And bring it a little in. I'm going into like kind of like a cut crease type of thing, but not really. So, yeah. What are you guys' goals for this year? Is it to lose weight or to gain weight? Like me, I want to gain at least like 10, 15 more pounds. I gained about 12 pounds in 2018 from when I started going to the gym and I want to gain more. Just like, it's hard for me. I eat a lot, but sometimes I don't always eat healthy. I don't always go to the gym meal, but this time I want to stay more focused, obviously. has certain brushes they like let me know because I am interested in buying more there we go nice and blended okay so next I'm gonna go in with which color with oh, this color right here and that is called pooter <laughs> I took a pooty. <laughs> I'm fucking weird. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna use the M Morphe M433 brush. This right here. This kind of sucks. Can I start with the outer corner? Kind of deepen that up right there. <laughs> So next I'm going to go in uh, with the same palette I used to set my lids, the uh, Colourpop uh, I Love Study, the Cheeky palette. And I'm going to go in with the color freckles, this one right here, just to define my crease a little bit more. Use the Morphe M506. that I used to set my lids just with the concealer that's on left on the brush I'm gonna clean a little around here and then we're going to set 
that with what color should I use? I'm gonna use this as a base. So I'm gonna go in with the flat brush and going in with the color Tempera by ABH from the Soft Glam palette. Next, I'm gonna use the um, fuck, where are they? I lost it. I have so much stuff here, yeah, I have no idea. Dona Chingalos puts this on my. Coining with uh, this, the Stilla, the liquid eyeshadow. My sister gave me this for Christmas, and uh, the first one I ever tried was Kidding Karma, and oh my god, I fell in love with it. I'm going to use the color Kitten. It's kind of like, it's a metallic key look right there. And then I'm going to use the color Diamond Dust. It's like a glitter. And that right there so I'm gonna use a uh, kidding on the bottom so I'll be doing that right now I just get scared for this part because <laughs> this is like whether I fuck up or I don't <laughs> all right so I really like these because you could basically like without having to cut your crease you're just going with these rather than like having to you know use more eye primer or concealer these really come in clutch so yeah I'm just going in like a half cut crease type of thing And blend this out there. And then we're going to go in with diamond dust. And put this on top of that. So I went ahead and did my eyeliner and put on some mascara. Now I'm going to go in with lashes and I'm going to use the Batty B lashes in the style <laughs> fuckboy. So I'm going to pop these on. They're kind of hard to take out the packaging though. Like, what the hell? It's in a little cajita. And I usually just grab like my tweezers and like like about I've tried these before like twice and I'm gonna say I was really not a fan so I'm not gonna give up on them I'm gonna use them again I've used the other style I forgot what style I used but yeah I'm gonna go in with these they're like super fluffy so I really think they're beautiful my favorite lash glue is the duo one, the little one in the tubito, and it has the green writing on it. I like most of the glues, they actually, like right now, it's like bluish. It starts to like change color, color or even like, um, you can tell when it's drying. So you want to put lashes on once it gets tacky. Like you don't want to go in right away because obviously the glue isn't fully dry or like tacky enough for it to just like 
apply because when it's tacky it actually sticks on rather than when you just like put it on wet it's gonna move around you know it obviously has to dry so we, we drink some beer I think the only thing I didn't really like from last time is because it has like the little edge here and I didn't know if I was supposed to cut that that goes in my eye and then it like kept poking me in the eye or like you know it feels like it's poking so I was miserable with those lashes see how big they are and dramatic like hell yes bitch give me life About to fly into 2019 like this. <laughs> yeah, We're gonna move on to this disgusting face. I really broke out so bad and I don't even know why. It's probably the weather, who knows. My skin's always acting up. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. Hear that stomping? <sighs> no type of respect. With the Frankie Rose, obviously, as always, and the color bear. And I am running out, like I said, so struggles is real. I'm gonna try a new foundation. I was thinking of getting the YSL, if not the NARS Radiant glow foundation and I was also probably um, Smashbox like I want to try all of those for like you know full coverage but if you guys have any more that you like please let me know I'm always interested in looking foundations I mean because who doesn't like to try makeup right and if I break out already then fuck it you know I lost the beauty blender So once I put on my foundation, it's like when everything starts to come together and I'm just kind of like, hey bitch, who are you? <laughs> Bring it down to the neck, I was like, fuck, I look crazy. Contour, bronze, always going with this shit. So it's the um, Chanel Cream. It's Soleil de Tan, de Tan, whatever it's called. <laughs> it's just a cream-based product, and I'm going in with the Morphe E8. And finish the under eyes so we can be extra AF so we're gonna go in back to the Jekyll and Hill we're gonna do what we did to the top to the bottom You guys can tell the sun is no longer with us. Need to get a ring light or something ASAP for this.
would finalize my look obviously a little extra you know if you want to look you could use this every day and going out look let me know how you guys feel in the comments down below Don't forget to like and subscribe guys happy new year